A weak wave of energy moving through the southeast tonight may bring just a few spotty sprinkles to our southern Kentucky counties, but I think most folks end up staying dry overnight tonight. Through the day on Sunday, a warm front lifts north across the region, so our temperatures are going to be running about 5 to 8 degrees above average. To give you some reference, our high today was 69. Our forecast high for tomorrow, about 77. So it's going to be a lot milder across the area for your Sunday afternoon with southwesterly winds. And we'll have some high clouds moving through our skies. Overall, we'll call it a mix of clouds and sun for the day, with again, most folks ending up staying dry. So milder weather expected for Sunday. And then things begin to get a little bit busier here across East Tennessee. So overnight Sunday night into Monday morning, winds will start to pick up and become breezy. So if you have any fall decorations, you may want to spend some time on Sunday securing them because winds could gust as high as 20 to 25, maybe even 30 miles per hour at times ahead of a frontal boundary that's going to be coming through on Monday. That is because of the tight pressure gradient with that front. Timing is still up in the air. As of right now, it looks like it might make it onto the plateau by around mid morning or so on Monday, moving into the valley by around noon and continuing east as we go throughout the afternoon. Timing is going to be important with this system, not just for rain chances affecting your plans, but also because if that timing shifts, it may also give us the potential for a few stronger storms to be mixed in there on the back side of the system. We'll have gusty winds bringing in cooler air, so for the day Tuesday, it will be much cooler across the area. Also going to keep the clouds around for the day Tuesday and a chance for a few spotty sprinkles lingering, especially in our eastern mountain counties too. So let's talk about that potential for those stronger storms. The Storm Prediction Center is currently highlighting the majority of our viewing area under a slight risk. That's that yellow color that you see right there. That is a two on a scale of one to five. So that gives you an idea that there's a chance that we could have some stronger storms containing possibly damaging winds, maybe a little bit of hail, and an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. But here's the thing. Here's why I say timing is so important. If that front comes through earlier in the morning, we miss the jet dynamics, we miss the, the dynamics in the atmosphere, and we also miss the instability with the daytime heating. So our severe threat would go down. If the timing ends up being a little bit later, as in coming in a little bit maybe more to the early to mid-afternoon time frame, that's when we may have to worry about this. So today is currently Saturday. Check back for updates tomorrow because this may be changing. The timing may be changing. Again, just can't emphasize enough. You got to check back for updates. So tonight, partly cloudy with some patchy fog, quiet conditions, lows around 50 for the day tomorrow. A mix of clouds and sun and a mild afternoon with those highs in the mid 70s for your seven day forecast, which should be a little bit on the mild side again Monday with those breezy southwesterly winds in that front coming through again. Check back for updates for timing and the potential for a few stronger storms, lingering clouds and sprinkles tapering off through the day Tuesday and also much cooler. We may have to drop those temperatures a little bit more too. Wednesday now looks to be mostly dry. This is a change to the forecast from what you saw last night. Now Wednesday looks to be mostly dry. Rain chances now coming in Thursday and also notice the cooler pattern too. It may be a chilly Halloween weekend. Keep that in mind when picking out those costumes.